What's up guys, Chris here from Security Bros, back with another review video. And today I will take a closer look at this 5 megapixel Dome IP security camera from TechAge. Is it any good? Let's find out. At first I was not going to review this camera, since I thought it was the same camera as the Gaydinon 5 megapixel dome camera that I reviewed a month ago, but after comparing them side by side you can tell that there are some differences between them, and they are not the same camera. They sell two versions of this camera, one is PoE and the other one uses a power adapter, and that's the one I got. So after testing this camera for a few days, I'm not that impressed to be honest. Image quality is not that great for a 5 megapixel camera, and there are black corners in the image which makes the field of view smaller, and it doesn't look good. Not sure if it's supposed to be like that, or it's just my camera. I got my camera from AliExpress, and I paid $37 for it, and the PoE version sells for $42 at the moment. And if you're interested in buying this camera, you will find my affiliate links in the video description below with the most updated prices. So the camera uses a 5 megapixel sensor that records in 2592 by 1944 and the camera I got uses a 2.8mm lens which gives a really wide field of view. They also sell it with a 3.6mm lens. And this camera does not support micro SD cards so you need to set up some kind of storage for the camera. And it does work with most brands NVR since it supports Unviv. And I connected the camera to Unviv Device Manager without any problems. You can also access the camera for live view through an app called XMI and get instant push notifications when the camera detects motion. Another thing that's worth mentioning as well is that you can only play the saved H.264 files with the included video player. I tried with many different programs and video players, but they can't play the files. All software comes on a CD, but I think you can also download it from their website. The camera have a built-in microphone for audio recording, and I think the audio was okay. For night vision it uses 15 infrared lights with a distance up to 15 meters, and same as daytime, image quality isn't that impressive. You can use this camera both indoors and outdoors, since it has an IP66 rating, which means it's weatherproof and the working temperature is minus 20 to 50 degrees celsius and in Fahrenheit that's minus 4 to 122 I think. Okay so what we get in the box is the camera, a user manual, a weatherproof connector cover, CD, sticker and a bag with screws. So to access the camera we first need to change the camera's default IP address which is 192.168.1.10 to one that will work within your network. And there are a few ways we can do that, for example using the included tools on the CD or you can even use the SADP tool to access and change the camera's IP address. If you don't want to download any software, you can also change your computer's IP address temporarily to a similar one to the camera, and that way access the camera through a web browser. And to do that, go to your network connections and select the one you are connected to and right click, go to properties, then internet protocol version 4 and properties again, select use the following IP address, now type a similar IP address as the camera, for example 192.168.1.11 When done click OK and now you can access the camera by typing the camera's IP address in Internet Explorer. Don't forget to change your computer back to obtain IP address automatically when done. So in here we have access to all the camera settings and there are too many settings to go over one by one so I will just quickly show them all to you and if there is a setting that you're more interested in you can just pause the video at any time.
Okay, let's have a look at some recordings I did. This is daytime, recorded with the highest image quality with audio turned on. And here I am at around 10-15 meters from the camera. This is nighttime recorded also with the highest image quality and audio turned on. It's not in total darkness since there is a street light just across the street. Alright guys, that's all I had for this video. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, why not hit that subscribe button. See you next time.